you can do UI automation in Power Automate Cloud. Let's create a flow. I just go up here and hit create. Let's pick an instant cloud flow. It will of course also work with an automated or scale cloud flow. We will manually trigger our flow and then we will call it RPA demo. Because Power Automate can actually do RPA. What you will do here is to click the plus and then you go into desktop flows down here or search for run a flow built with Power Automate desktop. Here we need to set everything up. So let's take a step back and then come back. Yeah. You go to Google because we want to download Power Automate desktop. Here you search for download Power Automate desktop and you pick the first hit from the Microsoft Learn. Click that. Then you scroll a little bit down and you click here on the download the Power Automate installer. Then you run the executable. Once it has downloaded, follow the instructions. I already did that. So I go to my Windows Start and search for Power Automate. That is desktop app. Now we can interact with web pages, systems, windows, everything that we cannot do natively in the Power Automate cloud. One thing though, I pick my environment up here. This needs to match the environment we have here in the Power Automate cloud. So let's go build a desktop flow that can do, for example, web scraping. We pick a new flow up here in the left corner. Here we need to give our desktop flow a name. The intuition is that we create this and then we connect it to Power Automate Cloud. This can run on any machine or server and can do anything you want. So I will call this web scraping demo. I just go with the default settings. Please don't enable power FX like I didn't do here. So this is our flow. Here we drag and drop code blocks. You can an automate test if I that. We drag and drop them in here. Let's open up a web page. I can do that by finding in browser automation. Launch new Microsoft Edge or pick Chrome if you prefer that or Firefox and just drag it in here. Then we need to fill out a few parameters. Let's take the same web page. I will go with anasjensen.org slash courses. And then I will choose to maximize the browser so we can easily see what's going on. This creates a browser variable that we can later use when we want to interact with that web page. You hit save. Let's just test that it runs here in the desktop. I can go up and hit run. You will see that the web page opens. Let's do some web scraping because this guy here has a lot of courses, company courses, and we also have some. Yeah. So by the way, this is all our courses in the AI and automation black belt, you can get those at $47, which will also include advanced Power Automate Desktop. But now we need to tell Power Automate Desktop that here is a system that we need to extract all of this. So what you will do is to go back here and then you find an extract data from web page. You drag it. Open up the web page that you want to scrape. I open up mine here. And let's move this head. Let's just say that I want the URLs from all of these so I can use it later on. I can right click, extract element value, and here you can see that in the href I have the URL. That is the first one. Then I take the second element, right click, hover my mouse over here, and take the H here. Now Power Automate Desktop says, well, here's the system. I take all the elements out. Then I can click Finish. Then this data is getting saved into a variable. I could also choose to say, I don't want it in a variable. I want to save it into an Excel spreadsheet. That is fine. And then I can hit Save. So right now we will also make sure that this is actually saved to our desktop. 
So what you find here is a close Excel. And I will have it locally. So here in the drop down, I will say save document else. Then I need to specify document path. And yes, this doesn't have to be in the cloud. It can be anywhere on your computer or in a network drive. Let's pick the address. I will go to my desktop. And here I will have say results dot xlsx since it's an Excel file, just hit open. Then you will see that it got inserted in here. Hit save. If I want to see that this works, let me close down the web page here. I can again test it. So if I can make this to work, now you see that it opens up this page. Then I also want to see that it can actually save to Excel. You can see it here in the background. And if I minimize all of this, then you see we now have a result here with the results, the web pages. Of course, we can have a lot of work to be done. But let me just close this. And since we're going to test it from the Power to Make Cloud, we will close it again. What you then need to do now, our flow is done. We can hit save up here as necessary if we want to invoke it from the Power Automate cloud. Then let's set up the connection. That is, we need to set up the connection on my machine to the environment so Power Automate cloud can run it. We can close here and close here. Now you go down to your Windows start and then search for machine. Then Power Automate machine runtime will show up. In case you don't see it, then you need to run the install and make sure you take the machine runtime. If you don't see it doing setup, that's because you have Windows Home. You need to have at least Windows Pro. There are cheap codes out there where you can just upgrade from Pro uh, from Home to Pro. I recommend you do that, and then you can open the machine runtime. This will get things ready. So here I will need to specify which environment do I want to use, and that was the same environment as we used over here and in desktop. So I go back here and pick the environment will register. Let's also clean a little bit up here. I can close the web page and I can also go back here and close the installer. Let's go to the machine runtime. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really, really help me. Thank you. So when this is set up, then there's just one thing we need to do, that is to fill out these. Here you can see we have our desktop Anders connected to this environment. If you want to change this, you can go to edit details and change the name. I think this is a fine name, so I'll just let it be. You don't need to do anything else. You can close the machine runtime. Now we are back here. Let's give the connection a name. This will identify your machine. So I'll call this one on the speed. You can choose to connect with username and password, or as I prefer, with a sign in. However, if you want to do the unattended setup, if you have to process license, then you want to go with user and password. I will just go. Then I can find my machine down here since we just created it. So go click that. What you want to do now is to click sign in. Then a pop up will open where you need to pick your account. I will pick mine. Click it. And then in 10 seconds, you will see your flows. Then we can find our flow. That will be the web scraping flow that you and I built. Here you see it. We have the web scraping demo. I will choose to run it attended again as I have that license. Then we can hit save. Now we can test it. Now what I want to see here is that when I test it, we will just go with a manual test. And you will see that this gets a green check mark in 20 seconds. And I hit continue, run flow. Then it will take a few seconds. And then the web page should open on this computer. There you have it. Now the web page opens. You will probably also see that the Excel pops out in front of us and is now saved. I can close this. Of course, we could also have automated this if wanted. 
And if I go out here, I can now see that I have the Excel. All good. And if I go back here, you will see that it took 40 seconds and the flow is done. If you want to learn more Power Automate Desktop, then I have a complete beginner's course right here. See you in that.